Hola, ¿qué tal? Soy Mr. Castrillo y quiero darles una bienvenida a Satchel Classes. I am Mr. Castrillo and I would like to welcome you to another uh, Satchel class today. Today's Satchel, me gustaría ser profesor, is a really important one. We are showing, first of all, what we would like to be and also what kind of profession. So today's lesson is mainly about occupations and what we would like to do. So let's have us and look at our targets today. Hoy vamos a hablar de profesiones. Vamos a decir por qué nos gustaría hacer algunas profesiones. Vamos a traducir oraciones relacionadas con las profesiones y finalmente vamos a resolver preguntas al estilo GCSE. Very simple uh, agenda for today, but very important to keep an eye on those words that we don't know or sentences that could be or will be very useful for our exams or our speaking assessments. Also, just to remind you, if you have pen and paper, this lesson is going to be a lot easier for you to follow. But feel free also to take pictures of the screen with your phone if you're doing this on a PC or a laptop. But also feel free to take any screenshots uh, that you want. And finally, remember that these lessons are always online. So feel free to come back and double check and practice with the words and the works that we have for you. So let's start with our lesson. The first thing I would like you to do is I want you to look at the phrases that I have on my left here in orange. And I have this list of translations. However, they don't match. So your mission is to first match them up uh, so we can actually see what they mean. I'm going to give you two and a half minutes for that. Off you go. Time is up. So let's have a look, in, let's have a look at our, our answers. Me encantaría, me chiflaría in Spanish means I'd love. Me gustaría más means I'd rather. Preferiría is I'd prefer. Pienso is I'm thinking of. Quiero means I want. Quisiera, me gustaría means I would like. 
And finally, tengo la intención de, means I'm intending to. Really important phrases to keep hold of because we are going to be using them for the rest of the lesson. Now, let's have a look at these different people, these different sentences here. I'm going to read them all. Me gustan las ciencias, entonces podría trabajar como ingeniero. El verano pasado trabajé como auxiliar dental y por eso me gustaría ser dentista. Me encantaría trabajar como abogado ya que es muy bien pago. Creo que estudiaré economía en la universidad. Me gustan mucho las finanzas. En mi opinión, la docencia es una carrera llena de retos y por eso me gustaría ser profesor. Right, so we have all these sentences here. So what I would like you to do is I want you to match up the occupation with the sentence. Somewhere in those sentences, you will find those different occupations in Spanish. So I'm going to give you two minutes to do so. Off you go. Time is up. So let's see. The first one is engineer. The word is ingeniero, engineer. The second one is dentista, dentist. The third one, solicitor. The word abogado means solicitor in English or lawyer. Economist. Now, we didn't actually see the word economista, which is the word in, in Spanish for economist. However, we did see the word economia, which is economics. And finally, of course, it is teacher, professor. We do say professor for both teacher and professor. There are other words that we can use as well, like maestro, docente. And docente is related to the word docencia, which is also in the sentence here at the very beginning. So feel free to use any of those if you want to have a more of a variety of words to use. Now then, we have all these sentences, but why would they like to work on that? So your mission now is to match the sentence with the reason. So we have five sentences, we have five reasons. I'm gonna give you two minutes to try and match them up. Off you go.
time is up. That was very quick because it's really easy actually. Let's have a look. First, because it's well paid. Well, well paid would be with the number four, uh, three, sorry. So three is a, is of course, a solicitor gets very good money for what they do. Then mm, we have B because they like science. And that's gonna be the first one uh, because me gustan las ciencias, I like science. C, because they like finances, of course. Uh, on that number four, they use the word finances, which is finances in Spanish, because they work as support. Now, support in this case in Spanish would be auxiliar. And auxiliar is someone who supports somebody else. And finally, it's challenging, and that is number five, which is. Uh, Llena de retos. Very well done. Now we have a list A and a list B here. Okay. So list A is quiero, quiero casarme, quiero conseguir un buen trabajo, quiero divertirme antes de tomar las cosas en serio, and so on. So our mission now is in the next three minutes, we need to match the English with the Spanish ones. So list A with list B. For example, quiero casarme matches with I want to get married. Can you actually match them all up? I'm going to give you three minutes for that. Off you go. Time is up, so let's have a look. Quiero casarme is I want to get married. Quiero conseguir un buen trabajo is I want to get a good job. Quiero divertirme antes de tomar la... Long sentence, really good one to have. So let's look for something that has a long sentence. I want to enjoy myself before I settle down. Quiero ganar un sueldo Elevado. I want to earn a good salary. Quiero ir a la universidad. I want to go to university. Quiero tener éxito en la vida. I want to be successful in life. 
quiero tener una familia numerosa. I want to have a big family. Quiero tener hijos. I want to have children. Quiero tomar un año de o I want to take a year off or a gap year. Quiero viajar por el mundo. I want to travel around the world. Quiero vivir una casa amplia, bonita, cómoda. I want to live in a spacious, nice, comfortable house. Quiero vivir en un apartamento de lujo. I want to live in a luxury apartment. So we have all these sentences. Remember to screenshot them, take notes of those, come back to the video. They are all very important to keep in your toolbox of phrases and sentences. Let's move on. Now then we have our GCSE challenge. Here we have a long, nice paragraph. I'm going to read it out for you. Somos una empresa muy especial. Cuando ofrecemos empleo, nos gusta hacerlo de una manera muy personal. Aunque queremos ver los resultados de los exámenes, lo más importante para nuestra compañía es conocerte cara a cara. El proceso consiste en lo siguiente. La primera parte es una entrevista en línea. Después vendrás para hacer una prueba en inglés. Luego harás una actividad de equipo. La última parte será una entrevista con el jefe. Eso es todo. Si tienes éxito, te daremos la noticia por teléfono. En esta compañía, ningún correo electrónico. So, our GCSE challenge, which is an AQA actual question uh, from one of the papers in the past, basically have all of this information. I'm going to ask you some questions about it. Question number one. What is the most important thing for this company? I'm going to give you 10 seconds to try and answer that question. Nine. Ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Well, if you look at the actual question, it says, lo más importante para nuestra compañía es conocerte cara a cara. And the answer is, is to meet you face to face, personally. Number two. What happens after the online interview? Diez, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. So what happens after the online interview? Let's have a look. We know that the first part of the whole process is an interview and it's online. So the next one is, después vendrás para hacer una prueba en inglés. So that's an English exam or an English test. Luego harás una actividad de equipo. You'll do a teamwork activity. Finally, la última parte será una entrevista con el jefe. It will be an interview with the boss. Really good one. Let's move on. Number three, how will you know whether you've been successful? Diez, nueve, ocho, siete, seis, cinco, cuatro, tres, dos, uno. Well, si tienes éxito, te daremos la noticia por teléfono. So if you are successful, they will give you a ring. They will call you on the phone or by phone. That's our GCSE challenge. Really important to keep an eye on those new words that we can learn. Feel free to screenshot, as I said before, or come back to the video. Right. Now I'm going to show you an example of a card that if you get an exam, a, a speaking exam, this is what you would see. And I want to just show you what you might come across with. First, you're going to have a prompt asking you for your name and age. And then this exclamation mark is basically a surprise. You, would, you won't know until you actually have the exam. Finally, experiencia de trabajo en un restaurante is prompting you to give you some experience uh, of work at a restaurant. Then maybe explain why you want to work in Spain. And finally, you will see this question mark, which is basically how many hours or 
you asking how many hours you will be working for. So that is you having to ask a question. Perfect. Our time is up. Muy bien. We revised occupations and career choices. We watched uh, match sentences and we found the reasons for different choices. We also did our GSC challenge. And finally, we were able to think of ideas for a speaking card. I hope you have enjoyed today's lesson and I hope I can see you very soon. Hasta muy pronto.